Narcan. Um, this is given to save lives. Narcan, this is a nasal spray. This saved my life. What's going on y'all? I'm Frank. Welcome back to the channel. So this video you're going to see here is part two of what is supposed to be like a five to six part series that Fox um, did on me or with me. You know, we did together. The resolution doesn't come by staying quiet, right? The resolution to this problem doesn't come by ignoring it. The resolution doesn't come by making pretend it doesn't exist, right? The resolution comes by raising our voices and speaking out about it. Um, that's one of the most powerful things we have, right? I see people on social media every day uh, bitching and complaining about, you know, what's going on over here or something that their neighbor said. Use your influence and your reach for something good, either to get some wheels in motion and some traction on trying to change something or preventing something else from happening. The first one was a little more personal into my story. Uh, I have that on the channel. One you'll be seeing right here just goes into the specifics or the generalities of Kensington, of addiction there, and of the open air use and sell of drugs. It goes, it does a little bit more educating. So like I said, this was done about six months ago, I wanna say um, they've been putting it out piece here, a piece there. Um, it's got a good reception. One of the best things about this is not being featured on, you know, an international news network. It's not any of that stuff like that. It's getting that word out there. I've got, man, listen, if I could show you all my DMs, my emails, my text messages, even letters, my mailbox, my physical mailbox at the shop, I've gotten so much support and outpouring from people just saying man i seen your story on fox news and then i went to your channel and checked out your channel they just tell me they're like man thank you for telling this story not only is it important but i have somebody that struggles with addiction i've struggled with addiction you know whatever it might be i hope you guys enjoy it's only you know it's only about seven eight minutes long but i, I hope you guys enjoy and i will as i get the pieces i'll upload them so you guys can see um, I thank you guys as always for all the support, the love. Um, thank you guys. Remember to be kind, loving, and patient, y'all. Stay blessed. I've lived in New York, I lived in DC, I lived in a few different major cities, and Philly by far is is different than all the other cities I've I've lived at. And it's it's just a different a different place. Way different than what I've seen. Alright, so I always a couple things that I always keep that I make sure I get out and have accessible as soon as I get to the city. Narcan, um, this is given to save lives. Narcan, this is a nasal spray. This is a one-time use. This will strip the uh, opiates from your receptors on your brain. This saved my life. Ground zero of our local heroin epidemic lies in the heart of Philadelphia's Kensington section. Kensington. Kensington. The drugs were the motive for a shooting in Kensington this morning. Their drug users from all over line the streets and make shift the area in Kensington, about this haven for drug addicts. Hooked on heroin in Kensington. Dumped ground zero for Philadelphia's heroin epidemic. Park is on the front lines of the nation's heroin epidemic with evidence of battles lost. Scattered like a weeds. drug raid that's big results in Kensington. Along residents with guns struggling with drug addiction may soon have a place to safely inject themselves. Open air drug drugs. abuse in Kensington is just not hard to find. Philadelphia's opioid crisis is far from over. Hang it all out of the wheelchair, brother. 
called Narcan, you keep the, the seat like that. You hear me? So we drove past, I seen him passed out, falling out of the wheelchair, go check on him, and he was, he, I thought, I honestly thought he was going to have to be Narcan. I was tapping him hard, and he was, uh, he was dozed off right through it. I was, I was hitting him hard. You know, you seen his hands were all swollen, so he's been like that for a little while. And, uh, you know, you see he ain't moved yet. He's in a wheelchair going down. This is, you know, this is a, a, a slight decline. He could easily roll right straight into traffic. Easily. Like what? Not even a uh, what? Doesn't even fill the bottle. But that saves a life. That brings you right back from Hell's Gate. Okay. So that's a nasal spray. That's intramuscular. Yes. That you give to somebody right in their muscle. You either give them um, in their, their thigh, their buttocks, yeah. or in their shoulder. Yeah. You don't do it nowhere else. Don't get it in the chest. You know. And you got it. You got it. You got to be willing to do it. If you're not going to do it, don't even get it. Don't even come out here. I'm one of the guys that put that up. Yeah. We are shorthanded with getting people to come out here to make this stuff available. One of the things about that right there, after the temperature gets cold out here, yeah. the cold deactivates that Narcan. That Narcan is no good now. Even though it's not expired, but yeah. because it's been cold, it's no good now. It won't save nobody's life. So we need people that, uh, you know, in stores, we need people in private residence to keep it available. So when somebody on their block falls, they have it available. see you know that that's a lot where the drugs the drugs are being cut with shit that people don't even know so that's the type of reaction you'll get a lot of times that man is on the floor and and once they get narcan in their system it puts them in immediate withdrawal so they have to get high again um, to not feel like they're dying which is, it's, it's, it's such a crazy cycle because they have to get high again. The Narcan's gonna wear off in 15 minutes so they can potentially end up overdosing off the same dose that they just got saved from. That's, that's a common thing that happens. Um, 
is people end up overdosing numerous times off the same, you know, off the same shot that they did.